Well, I know of physicians and I know of musicians, but there's only one physician musician that I know, and he's a brother, and his name is Neil Anthony. What's up, man? Yo, 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 Charlie, everything cool, man. We did. So, music is not just what you hear, but what you see as well, because it's a, a visual thing videos and album covers and things like that. I am privileged to be seated here with the personal stylist of the very talented Neil Ante. Please introduce yourself to the world. Uh, my name is Barry K.K. Mensa, the creative director for Black ID. Yeah. So I'm assuming the, the brand name is Black ID, yeah? yeah? Black ID. Black Identity, but for short, it's Black ID. Yeah, that's the brand. Okay, so, so can I call you Black ID? Yeah, why not? Add it to the brand. You are the brand. Yeah. So what pushed you to work with Neil Ante, Black ID? Okay, Neil Ante, I think it's the music because the first time I heard of his song, I, fed, I heard of his feature with Black Rasta and I fell in love with the person behind the voice. So I've been looking out to see the person behind that. So I, I met him once and spoke to him about uh, a few things that I want to style him because he has good music and good music goes with your your appearance as well so I decided to come in and also support the brand because Neil Ante is not just a musician or a doctor but it's a brand on its own so I also decided to come in and also help with my creative talent and I was checking out his jacket when I was doing uh, the chat with him and I was wondering ah, who, who did this man I mean tell us a little bit about the style that you have brought to Neil Ante now okay so uh, what I normally do is I don't like taking people's uh, styles Neil Ante is a brand as I said earlier so if you really pay attention to what he is wearing you realize that the brand on the, the, the what is wearing the jackets and everything has Neil Ante on it so we are we are bringing the music plus the way people should dress uh, so uh, the jacket for instance we decided to blend the african prints and the jeans because of the kind of song he's doing so we we we, we blended the two the jeans the khaki and the african print to make it unique and make it fit what he's trying to do the music video he's trying to bring out yeah thumbs up man big up i really like the style it's really fresh and exciting for those who are wondering how you get your ideas as far as style and fashion are concerned can you give us a, a sneak peek into your creative process? How do you get your ideas? Okay, as an artist, you always take inspiration from nature or things going around, uh, things happening around you. So when, when, when he told me about his music, I had to listen to the song for me to be moved. You know, if you listen to the song and you get to know what he's talking about, that's when you get to know what to give. So the inspiration is coming from the song. That's why I got the inspiration. So I decided to do something to really tell the story of whatever is going on in the music. So that's how I came up with the idea. Yeah, so everything you see is actually the basics of everything is coming from the music. Yeah, that's where the inspiration came from. Yeah. And so if you're feeling the music on Baby Be Mine and checking out what Neil Ante is wearing, know that uh, Black ID is responsible for that look. She give me this sign, oh. can make you no try. Oh. One. So I'm, I'm here with a really talented, super creative musician, stroke artist who is riding on the track "Baby Be Mine" uh, with Neil Ante. Chimney Crane, good to see you, man. Good to see you too, sir. All right. Listen, I want to hear some of your stuff. So just if you can just draw some of the lines that you recorded uh, on the song, I'll be happy to hear from them. Spit some of your bars for me, man. All right, sure. Like, baby, make you whiner for me, like a Likoto. We going deeper, this be in total. The only time you see us fight is with a pillow though. I lie, I'll be searching for your love. Tomo pillolo. <laughs> nice one. Listen, what was it like working with Nilante? You know, working with Nilante is like um, expressing your creativity and keeping you on your toes. Yeah, at the same time, because he puts you in the right spot, channel you on what the topic is about. And since he's the one who owns the song, you need to do what he wants, exactly. And he saw my creativity in that. It's like customer service, give the customer what he wants, right? Exactly, that's what I did, yeah. <laughs> Listen, after this project, I feel there'll be more stuff that you'll be doing with Neil Ante. I mean, uh, am I right? Yeah, definitely, because he's like a big brother to me. He's been um, motivating enough 
because he's been in the game longer than I am. So I take a lot of um, advice from him and he, told, and he puts me on the right path every, every time. Yeah. Since we started with you spitting some bars, I want to end by hearing you also just do something interesting. Do you do, do, you do like uh, uh, freestyle stuff? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Do something for me, man. Something freestyle. Okay. This is about like um, <laughs> a pretty girl, right? right? So let's do this. Minta wo yo ni do na da. Si je yo ni do na wa. Bo agbicho na kekbe. Na wu la pa minta wo gbu dun gba nga gba ni ma che le gaga wu gaga. No ni ba no yo mu e wu ya gba. Mu yin me ne duku ine ke ne mo mi ni blood on for feto gum cha cha. Anytime we balling, check the scores. Numbers no the lie, brother. Shopping now we pouring. Yeah, raw raw draw. See my boys no the boo dollar. Where the kai? I swear wa lie. Me I no go use rubber. Man, I'm high in between them ties. You wet like some gutter. And on and on and on. <laughs> Chini Crane, ladies and gentlemen. Shorty, I can take you there. Open and make a place you first. Shorty, I can take you there. Well, for Baby Be Mine, me went to work with a talented director right here from GH. Oscar, you're welcome, man. So, Ni nee said some really great things about you. Tell us about how it got to you and me working together on this project. Oh, yeah, I was shocked. One day I was there and his manager contacted me like, uh, the artists have seen my work and they say they love my work and those. So he didn't disclose actually to me, it was me. So later on, we went back and forth and he told me it's me. And like, yeah, I was happy though, because uh, Neil and Tay is somebody I've been observing him from afar and growing up seeing his works and those things and it's, it's somebody I really admire so when I heard he's falling in love with my works and those things I was in fact I was happy about it that half of that whatever you are doing others two are watching and they are seeing it and all those things so and working with me I met him in person and like he showed how he was and choose about my creativity and everything too so working with me too uh, it's nice and very uh, it has also brought some other aspect of me out because I know me is a perfectionist and those things. So when you are working with him, too, you need to work extra hard and bring something to the ball that it will wow everybody. And talking of the wow factor, I'm just wondering. Um, so what do you? What are you bringing to this project? This baby be mine video that we will see and we will say, wow, man, this is great. I mean, what do you bring to the project? You see, when you are starting a movie and uh, killer dies from the beginning, you wouldn't enjoy it. So let me save this till the video is out. Then you watch it. Then you'll be wowed by it. <laughs> I like the response. And looking at your hands, I know you are very busy. You just, uh, I just grabbed you from what you were constructing on the set. And so I'm going to allow you to go back to do your stuff. But that's Oscaris. And if you love the video, well, the man who made it happen, I'm sitting next to him. Thank you very much. <laughs> The guy I'm about to speak with, I have interviewed before, way back on GH1, and he is just something else. And he also doubles as, apart from being something else, he's also the personal choreographer for Neil Ante, and they worked on this Baby Be Mine project. Jerry One, good to see you, man. Uh, good to see you, Mr. Calf. <laughs> So as a dancer, you need to be versatile, right? And a choreographer. There's a way we find, several ways we find to, uh, you know, to turn you upside down. You know, if you don't know how to move, there's a way we have to make sure the time you realize you are dancing without even noticing. So, <laughs> yeah, so to my versatility, you know, I can turn you around. So that's, uh, that's what made uh, the whole thing happen. Eh? And Neil Ante too is, is fun working with, though. So. And he's quick to learn, uh, you know. So, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see the video and see Nilante moving, man. Everything. So I'm going to ask Jerry one to show me a couple of moves that he showed Nilante. All right. So Jerry, are you ready for that? I'm ready. I'm ready. So <laughs> let, let's stand and then you show me the moves. All right. Okay. Baby, make it wider for me, like a ligoto. We going deeper, this begin to talk. The only time we see us fight is with a pillow. Though I lie, I be searching for your love. Tell my pillow, no, baby, make you better for me. For that, I'm 
Kapa ni kuta mi je prabeshe Iso umu wana Jimmy Habete And then me Yusu and Jimmy Boka keke Shorty I can take you there Ufonu suna ma me fred Promise no go keep you che Che me now fen and make a place you first Shorty I can take Baby Be Mine is a love story which is being told through music by Neil Ante with help from Chimney Crane. Now for every love story, there's a boy and there's a girl. So the boy in this story is Neil Ante. And the girl in this love story is Nanaya. Nanaya, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I must say that Neil made a beautiful choice to have you as the main chick in the movie. Okay, so Nanaya, I need to know, will you break Nii's heart in the video? At least we know that the story ends in a happy way, which is a relief. So hey, thank you very much, uh, Nanaya. Take all my eye, all that you deserve, my friend. It's great to be doing the behind the scenes because we've talked to the musician, we've talked to the rapper, we've talked to the director, we've talked to the choreographer, we've talked to the main model, and it's now time to speak with one of the dancers. Um, a veteran in the industry and she's going to show me a couple of moves but before that I want to ask a couple of questions Adasa, good to see you good to see you too you look beautiful and I'm sure your dance moves are as beautiful as your look yes <laughs> what is it like is it stressful to be a, a dancer in a music video not really if only you know what you want or what you are doing and the passion you have for the thing it's not stressful it's fun Confess, or are some of the directors just too stressful, or some of the musicians do they stress you out? Okay, some of them, I'll say most of them, because they want the best, so they'll just stress you on set. But at long last, or after the shoot, you see it's worth it, so you just have to just stress small. <laughs> it's part of the work, eh? Yeah. What is it like working with Neil and Tay? Actually, this is my first time working with him. But so far, so good. I think it's cool. It's nice working with him. Yeah. I, for one, I cannot wait to watch the video because I know Neil Ante doesn't dance like me. So, but I heard he, he's, he's busting some moves in the video. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the video. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> Listen, I can't let you go without you showing me a couple of the moves. I want you to teach me a couple of dance moves so I can take home and, and go and show my kids. For, okay, wait. Yeah, just we have ones that you can just use for flex and that's it. Eh? Okay, so some flexing moves. All right, all right, all right. No need to stand. Okay, okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, do it slowly so that I can land. Okay, okay, so let's go. Thank you so much, Adasa, and all the best. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sony, how successful as the video should be today? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's been great. I mean, we started in the morning, you know, and we're ending now. It's dawn. It's been a packed day. Very tiring, but exciting, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's gone well. Um, directed by Oscaris. The pictures have been great. I just had a preview, a sneak preview of what's going on, on behind the cameras and wow, it's just amazing. Um, I'd like to encourage everyone to subscribe to the K-N-I-I-L-A-N-T-E Nilante channel, you know, and get ready for the drop. This one's going to be wicked. It's going to be massive. It's Baby Be Mine featuring Chimney Crane and it's going to be out very soon. So, woo, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. She be hot like that. She give me the sign, she give me the sign, yeah, make you no try. She give me the sign, me, she the one so hot, so hot. She be hot she like that. Woo! Me Lante, Jimmy Cray. One way, one way, one way. Bash! Uh, call me, call me, call me.